Hi Fair Class, Miss Carr here. I'm going to explain your work for this week, the 18th of January 2021. Okay, some helpful things to remember. Try your best. That's all Miss Simon and I want is for you to try your best. If the work is hard, don't worry. Have a try. Ask someone for help at home. Could be an adult, could be a bigger brother or sister. Okay, if you are really stuck, just leave it and we can talk about it on Friday's video call. Don't forget, if you're watching this video, you can pause it and watch it again to make sure you know what you've got to do. Okay, if you have a purple math book, this is your work for this week. Remember to pause the video so you can write it down. Okay, here's some helpful information. Have a look at the poster about subtraction and how to do it with a column method, okay? That's what you're gonna be doing this week. Remember to use the squares on your paper, make your writing clear and in the boxes, okay? Think about what the value of the number is, okay? Then some questions will ask you to look for mistakes. Look really carefully, okay? Right, here's some vocabulary if you're a bit un unsure and you don't know what the words mean, okay? If you have a blue maths book, this is your work, okay? Have a look, pause the video, and then you can write it down. Okay, here's some helpful things to remember when you're doing your work this week from the blue book. So think about using a 100 square to find 10 more or 10 less. Have a look here. And then it uses the word base 10. They're also called deans and they look like this down here. You can draw them with a picture, okay, like here. OK, and think about using your number bonds to 10 to help you make number bonds to 100. OK, OK, if you have a red maths book, here is your work for this week. Remember to pause the video so you can write down what you need to do. OK, here's some helpful things to remember. So this, the part and whole model linked with addition sums. And then underneath is called a bar model, and that's linked to some additions as well. Also, you're gonna be asked to choose some numbers, like three numbers, like three, five, and eight here, okay? And make some addition sums yourself, okay? Also, think about using things to help you, like counters or objects that can help you work out your bonds to different numbers. So look here at the top, there's making four in different ways, okay? And then underneath, look at the how they've explained making 10, okay? Here's some extra things you can do. You've all got times table rock star information that you can do, and then you can go to top marks website and find different maths games that we play in school that you know. OK, now English is a bit different this week. We've got a new book like down below. OK, some of you have the CGP year one book. If you have the year one, this is your work for this week. OK, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday from the book. On Thursday and Friday, you've got some reading and writing activities linked about winter. OK. Here's some things to help you. So listen carefully to the sounds in words. Get another person to say the word and listen for the sounds. And remember all the things that you need in a good sentence. Have a look below. Capital letters, finger spaces, full stops, and make sure you read it carefully. Okay. Also, the word rhyme means when two words or more than two words sound similar, okay? So listen <coughs> to the words really carefully, okay? If your English book says year two on the front, okay, here's your work for this week. The same 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, work from the book. And then Thursday and Friday, you've got some winter writing and reading activities, okay? Here are some things to help you. Remember, at the back of the book, there's a glossary that explains words if you don't know what they mean, okay? You're also going to be doing something linked to um, plural S when there's more than one of something. Here are some posters to help you know if you add S or ES, okay? Also, you're going to be doing some comparing suffixes that go on the end of words. So you're going to do er uh, and est. They're words that compare things, okay? You're also going to do a suffix of ing and ed. So ed are things that happened in the past and ing are things that are happening now, okay? Extra things you can do is you can do spelling shed, practicing those, um, those common words and make sure you're reading every day. Remember to let me know if you want more books, okay? Also remember that your topic work will be linked to class, okay? So have a look on the website or on the YouTube or Twitter and find the information for your class and your work for this week in topic. If you're not sure, then give me a call and I'll, I'll help, okay? Bye, third class. See you next week.